So in this video we're going to be looking at the uh, the H bridge, okay? Um, so this is the chip here, okay? And this is our Amiga 32M microcontroller, okay? I've already shown in a previous video how you can connect it up like this, okay? So this is our 5 volt uh, regulator circuit where we're going to be taking 9 volts in um, from a battery and reducing the voltage down to 5 volts, which we're going to be putting along um, this uh, this rail here, okay? So let's start. So the first thing that you do when you're working with your H bridge um, um, in the in this particular circuit is that we're not using pin one, okay? I'm gonna start off with pin two, okay, like so. So <clears throat> pin two over H bridge, and um, we're connecting that to digital pin two on our mic controller here, and that corresponds to um, pin number four, okay, like so. Um, okay. Now pin three and pin um, six on our H bridge. Um, these are the pins where you connect the, uh, you know, the two uh, um, motor wires to. Okay, on this on this side. Okay, um, you can do that in any order. Okay, so um, I'm not going to connect up the uh, um, the motor wires um, just yet. Okay, so I'll just leave them uh, the, them empty. Okay, so now we start off with um, pin four here on our H bridge. Okay, and that's a ground pin, so you just ground it. Okay. And then uh, pin 5 on our H-bridge is also a ground pin. Okay, and you ground that as well. Okay, so I've already explained um, about pin 6 being uh, one of the motor wire pins. Okay, so I'll leave that um, empty for now. Um, so next, next we're on to pin 7. Okay, so, um, so pin 7, um, that's connected um, to uh, digital pin 3. Okay, on our um, microcontroller here, which corresponds to pin number five. Okay, so you connect it up like that. Okay, so pin eight here on our um, H bridge. Um, this is the uh, this is where we're going to be powering our motor. Okay, so we're going to connect that to a nine volt uh, battery. Okay, so this is our uh, nine volt battery that we're going to be using. Okay, so our the positive sides um, here. Okay. Um, that's connected to uh, connect that part up to pin 8 like so okay and the other side of course is ground okay so you just connect that to ground like that okay okay so pin number 9 um, on our H bridge we don't use okay so um, pin number 10 now okay so so pin number 10 is connected to digital pin 4 on a microcontroller and that corresponds to pin um, 6, okay, like so. Okay, now, just like on this side, on this side here, um, pin um, 11 and pin uh, um, 14, that, they're the pins that we connect the other um, two wires from the other motor Two, okay, so I'm going to leave them empty for now. Okay, so now we're on to pin um, 12, like so. Okay, and that's connected, that's a ground pin, so we connect that to ground. And pin 13 is also connected to ground, like so. Okay, so you can see that I have um, ground connected here. All the grounds have to be connected, as you can see here, so by using this wire here, okay. So um, pin 14 is, like I said, is one of the, um, where we connect one of the motors, one of the wires from it, okay, I've already explained that. So now we're on to pin 15, okay, so pin 15 is connected to digital pin 5 over here on a microcontroller, and digital pin 5 corresponds to pin 11, okay, so that's, uh, let's see, 14, 13, 12, and 11, so that's there, okay, now, Pin 16, okay. That's connect. That's uh, connected to plus five volts, okay. So we connect that over here to to our our five volts here, okay. Like so. Now, the only thing that we need to do now. So this is our nine volt battery that we're going to be putting through our five volt regulator, okay. Okay, so we have five volts now here on this rail, so. If we just put this in here to this is our ground like so, and then um, this is where this okay this is our nine volts. 
like so. So there you go. So we should have five volts here on this rail, okay? And that's basically it, okay? So the only thing that we have to connect up is our, our, our motor wires, okay? So to introduce um, wireless into <clears throat> your circuit, you can use um, one of these, which is an IR receiver, okay? And um, it has three wires, okay? The black wire is ground, the red wire is where you would connect that to five volts, and then the green wire is um, our signal wire, okay? And that's gonna connect to digital pin eight, which corresponds to pin 14 on our microcontroller, okay? So if you connect that up, like so, uh, that's ground, um, this is uh, 5 volts, and then of course this is, goes to pin 14 on a microcontroller, like so. Okay, so um, I've already shown you in a previous video um, how you can actually um, upload, uh, you know, sketches onto uh, the microcontroller, okay. So it's very straightforward to do, okay. And so this is the actual circuit now connected up. Um, to this rubber chassis, um, these are our two motors that control each wheel, okay. So this is the um, IR transmitter that I'm going to be using. Um, so one is uh, forward, two is stop, three is reverse, four is left and five is right, okay. So here we go, let's see. So I maybe go forward, stop it. Now it's going off to the left a little bit, it's just because the wheels are not attached properly there. But that's just... Um, a robot chassis issue, uh, not a coding issue. So um, I'm going to reverse now. There you go, stop that there. Now let's see, can we make it go to the left? That's fine, and then to the right. And that's uh, fine, okay. So that's pretty much um, all you need to know. So um, if you build a better robot chassis, um, it will work uh, perfectly okay and um, the code is absolutely fine okay Okay, so this is the um, <coughs> HP today that I'm using um, in a circuit, okay, so it's the SN754410NE, and um, and this is the uh, the pin layout of it, okay. <coughs> 